on, Struth, mate. Back in the chair. I feel like this is the most makeup videos I've done in ages. But what is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so fucking excited because here in the UK, sorry, here in England, things have like kind of opened up that step further and we can actually like dine out inside just like how we used to obviously still like wearing masks as you walk around and stuff like that but still being able to sit inside i mean don't get me wrong i did love uh sitting out outside to eat as well but the weather is so temperamental and there's only so much like drinking in the blistering winds and the rain that i can take but the weather's actually perked up a bit and i am using the natural light again so i am very sorry if it dips in and out i have got a light here just in case but um i do prefer to just sit here in the natural light and do my makeup but tonight i'm going out for drinks and dinner with the girls we're going to the ivy and i thought let me film this get ready with me uh, the last one i did was obviously more of an everyday lightweight glam makeup i do still love the lightweight ish vibes like on my skin but we're going a little bit more glam tonight my hair is already done um jack did it for me that's the best thing like having number one your best friend literally live across the hall and number two them being into hair and being able to style hair like he did my braid for me this is actually a beauty works braid love it so much it literally comes with all the three bits and a little bit to wrap around super helpful but yes i thought i would film the makeup it's going to be a bit more of a chatty video i will obviously leave uh, all the products listed and linked and i will probably call them out as i go but i just want to sit down and chat with you guys that like we're all getting ready to go out I want it to be more of a chatty video i say that and i always talk about makeup like while i do that i always want to talk about other things but i do always end up talking about the makeup um thought i'd show you the outfit i'm gonna wear and then yeah a few clips of the end of the night taking you out with us um i'm so excited this is literally like my favorite kind of video to film um obviously you saw what the finished result looked like in the thumbnail i'm guessing um but yeah without further ado uh, if you're liking the sound of this video already make sure you give it a thumbs up right now right now right now um and let's just jump straight into it so i have already prepped my skin i have absolutely no idea how i'm going to be doing my eyes like my makeup's really like sleeked back so i feel like i want to go for like a winged look and i'm wearing brown so i feel like i want to play on the brown um so i'm going to go ahead and do one eye off camera so i can just uh focus on that and then when i know what i'm doing i'll be able to chat with you guys but i have prepped my skin already um it's the same steps for me uh, I like to cleanse my skin using the Rodeol Brightening Cleansing Pads um, and then go in with a bit of a moisturizer. Um, I just put on the Revolution Hydro Bank Water Cream. And then to like prime, I use the Waleda Skin Food. Obviously, best thing ever, like obsessed. Um, and I thought I'm gonna spray my skin a little bit with the Hyaluronic Fix Spray like before I even go on with makeup don't usually do that but i thought i would try that today this is what my prep skin looks like but yes i'm gonna go ahead and do like one eye off camera and then we can come back and chat and get ready together <laughs> i actually look so funny with just one eye done this is what we've gone for a little bit darker i did want to mix it up because i didn't want to do the same old and we're going out i've decided like I need to make the most of all of these opportunities of going out. Me and Hannah did say, like, we really want a double date. That would just be so much fun. Um, right. <clears throat> Quick sippage. Also, by the way, a little tip. If you like a dry rosé, but you wish it was, like, a little bit sweeter, use a frozen strawberry as an ice cube. You're welcome. So I have actually prepped my eye and my eyebrow. I have kind of... I've tried to switch up so it's not exactly all of the same products. Um, I use the Refai Beauty like brow sculpt to just kind of lift up my lashes the way I do normally with uh, the ABH brow freeze. Um, and I've just primed my eye with my Fenty concealer that I'm going to be using on my face. Um, right, and just tell you now for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this from Beauty Bay. It is their fiery matte eyeshadow palette i'm using this all over the lid this in the crease and this to create like a smoky wing um right so let's just crack on with this then guys i'm gonna say it again i i have it on my ipad here in front of me um i'm still obsessed with married at first sight australia like it, it just doesn't end. If you need a series to watch and like it have loads of episodes and like Australian reality TV is just insane. Like they don't hold anything back. It's 
so good. Definitely binge watch it. It's on 4OD, like I've said. I don't know who my favourite couple is. If people have watched, um, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, I do really love... Oh, shit. What are they called? Uh, the ginger woman and that guy. Like, basically the leading couple throughout the whole thing. Like, they are really sweet, like, and obviously so in love. And I did kind of cheat and stalk their Instagram. And they're still together and they just had a baby. Like... That just makes me so happy because she did keep saying how she like really wants to be a mum. Um, love it so much. I'm laughing because I've just done two colours and that's literally my eyeshadow finished. I'm just going to take like a little shader brush to create like a really smoky wing. But yeah, we're going to the Ivy tonight. I am so excited. Although I will say you guys, normally when I go to the Ivy, I get a steak and I am really having a moment where... I'm craving steak. The thing is, like, I never said that I was going to stick to it, but I, it just felt natural and right, and I didn't even really want to not stick to it, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm being really harsh on myself, like, when I think about, like, if I, I like I said, like, I'm craving, well, not craving, but I do really fancy a steak tonight. I feel like I'm being really harsh on myself, but I'm sure there'll be something veggie on the menu that I do like. It's just not like a tradition, but normally when I go to the Ivy, I do have a steak. It's because they do a really nice, like, red wine jus <laughs> sauce, like, that goes with it. And I've never been anywhere that does that sauce. It's just, oh, it's so fucking good. Um, by the way, I'm loving these eyes. Like, I love the process of this. So, yeah, I am having a bit of cravings of that. What I also love about the Ivy is that they do, well, actually, it's not Ivy Asia that they do it, but I'm hoping that they just do it like in the actual ivy because that's where we're going and um, they do a lychee martini i was gonna make myself one to drink while getting ready but i actually just prefer to just sip on sip on some wine you know right looks a bit of a mess but we move i'm gonna take where is it it's the nars eyeliner in mambo i think oh by the way if you see that uh no i didn't shit on my thumb oh god you know they're like tanning drops for your face um, cause they're, and they're completely clear. I obviously got some on my thumb last night before I went to bed and woke up and I was like, great, that's really helpful. Also, I feel like this robe, the OGs will know, I used to film all of my get readies with me in this robe. And when I was sitting down to film, I was like, I need to find that robe. Because it's satin, it keeps me cool while I'm getting ready. And like, if I have a little bit of instant tan on, like, doesn't transfer, you can't like really see. But I'm just going to take the eyeliner, put it all along my top like my upper lash line, but also along the edge of my eye. So I'm gonna do my upper water line. I'm gonna tight line, that's what it is. Tight line, and then also run it along the lash line. <coughs> God, why am I so gassy? Hang on. Ooh. Just gives more of a little, bit of a sultry look. And that's what we're going for tonight, because what I'm saying for my future hubby, is you know at the table next to me need to give him the eyes and i'm just using that dark brown to just smoke it out from that beauty way palette but that's it i'm just gonna wipe it all away underneath so it looks like that and then i'm gonna whack on mascara and the lashes that i'm wearing are from a brand called chem beauty it's a small indie black owned business get to know um look at these lashes they are gorgeous and just like the perfect vibe for this eye look. So I'm going to pop these on and show you the finished eyes. So these are the eyes. I just, those lashes are just so gorgeous. Like they're not too much, but they're doing its job. Right, onto skin. Still a lover of MAC face and body. I love this, but then I am actually going to go in uh like with a little bit on my hand and just applying it with a brush type vibe um with the nyx total control pro foundation just on anywhere that i might need a little bit more oh god that was risky the lid wasn't on anywhere where i need a little bit more coverage um i think this is in the shade c5 i'm just gonna go in with a brush but i'm so glad that you guys actually still wait i feel like i want to zoom you in a bit more hi um, so glad that you guys still love 
the get ready with me get ready with me's i really when i was posting that everyday natural one really didn't think the video was going to do very well i kind of thought you guys might be over over those kind of videos and you just prefer the like vlogs but seeing so many of you say like oh this really like reminds me of like old times and it's just a nice little escape for you guys that is exactly what i want these videos to be who doesn't love like a little bit of makeup therapy even if you're not actually doing the makeup and you're just you know in the kitchen right now cooking if you are actually in the kitchen right now cooking while you're watching this like leave a comment down below um but you know what i mean sometimes these are just nice to have in the background nice to just feel like you're chatting with someone while or like i always envision these videos like that you guys are getting ready with me for something so i always like to try and post them like either at night time like early evening so you can watch them then and therefore you can also therefore you've got them in the morning to watch but um yeah i'm so glad that you guys still love makeup as much as me because obviously makeup's like the heart and soul really of what my channel was about and then you know the vlogs came out and you saw a different sort of side to me and you guys latched onto that and then makeup's a little bit hit and miss because i feel like as you get older you just kind of get quite set in your ways with the way that you do makeup and you don't necessarily want to watch a rainbow how to do a rainbow cut crease anymore like i know i personally don't you can see i'm just adding that nyx total control pro foundation just like i don't know i always feel like i want a little bit more coverage here but yeah like i feel everyone's just like a bit set in their ways with makeup and as you get older you kind of I don't know, you know your go-to looks. I kind of more watch these videos to like discover new products, which is why I tried to like mix it up today. I didn't want to use exactly the same as I did like in my last Get Ready With Me. I also feel like Hannah is posting basically like this video as well. So you have two to watch. You'll have two different sides of the night. And when I did say to her, I was like, oh, like if you're filming that, like don't worry, like I won't vlog. And it was like, no, like everyone always comments, like I love seeing everyone's different like versions of the night so i will vlog i don't want it to like consume the night though so it'll just be like a little mini vlog at the end of what we do but we are actually going to london next week which i am so excited about we were all just saying to each other on our group chat we were like i am in such a rut with content like <sighs> manchester like the weather's not been great like it's just i don't know there's only so many places that i can shoot in my flat and like the town center in manchester just isn't great for pictures to be completely honest and i know that sounds so like what but when posting on your instagram i know it i'm i mean obviously there's different parts to my job like i do youtube and stuff like that but when obviously having a nice instagram is a main part of your job and you're just feeling so unmotivated because i don't know the weather's crap and the lights crap and then you don't take any pics like that kind of thing you know we just need to change the scenery and now because we can all be like inside together and you can have overnight stays we were like let's just get a nice place in london i feel like sophia and chintzia do this and they've got that nailed like when you go to london with like your best friends and stuff like you get so much content especially if you stay like in a nice place and you can film together like we can film individual videos together we can vlog out together we're going to be doing different things and london is just a very obviously there's different parts but a very aesthetic town like the buildings are white and it's gorgeous and the weather is does tend to be slightly nicer because it's down south like they've got that nailed on the head as like yes it looks like they're having fun but in terms of business and like shooting and that kind of thing it's amazing so we're kind of doing that i mean we're going to be doing our like our own thing and stuff and you know we do shoot different kinds of stuff anyway but yeah we're gonna just take a little trip to london to be fair we've been talking about it for ages because maddie gets her lashes done in london still even though like we're up in manchester although she did go to my lash tech the other day but um hannah and mads both have well to be fair i used to see this woman too um their favorite lash tech is in london so like when i get their lashes done um just some like different restaurants honestly you guys we i'm just like so excited just need a bit of change of scenery as well um yeah so excited and i can't wait for some amazing content and just to really feel like motivated about content again you know so that's gonna be happening next week um 
yeah so while we're in london and the three of us are together let me know any like video ideas that you want to see i think we definitely want to film another get ready with me like for a nice dinner or something basically this similar sort of vibe to this but i obviously want to mix it up so yeah let me know the videos that like video ideas that you want to see while the three of us are together and we can see what we can do about that mm. this concealer is actually a little bit light i think i was meant to put my fenty concealer on first fuck oops um let's just see let me get my little brush to diffuse this situation do that i feel like when i put my cream contour on it will warm everything up i'm kind of in the mood for a bright under eye now i've done it i'm like oh i actually look snatched mom oh my god guess what i'm doing on sunday so excited no it's not sunday saturday also, by the way, I'm using the Revolution Eye Bright as my cream contour. Who am I not using the Urban Decay one? But this one's got the little, like, ball applicator, which I really like. Like, it looks like I'm getting a hydrofacial. Um, the applicator on this is, is actually really good. Um, yes, yeah, so on Saturday... I'm going to go and see Bimini. If you guys watched um, the UK Drag Race, she came... Actually, we don't know if she came second or third. We just know Lawrence. Lawrence Jenny. She won. But no, we're going to go see Bimini. She's in Manchester. How exciting is that? Like a little drag show. I love drag shows so much. They are always so fun. You get so drunk. It's just such a fun night. Um, let me know if anyone that's watching this that's in Man like lives in Manchester or maybe you're just a Bimini die Bimini fan and you're travelling up to Manchester to come and see her. But if anyone else is going, let me know. Maybe I'll see you there. But I'm um, so, so excited just for a night of fun. Although I am a bit nervous, like, she's got, like, um, warm-up acts and stuff like that. Like, it's quite the production as she should and i don't expect anything less i really hope she does her pricey um act because that is that is literally the reason why i talk like that me and jack always let's talk like this type of pricey like darling i just love that voice it's iconic anyway let me just finish blending this up right please forgive me i have done a few steps so i obviously finished blending out the contour i then went ahead and powdered my face i mean these are all like the boring steps my god why am i so burpy i'm so sorry <laughs> pardon me just use my charlotte tilbury powder in the shade one under my eyes dusted banana bread huda beauty all over to set um, and then i did my eyebrows i used a different eyebrow pencil today benefit cosmetics love you so much like normally is my ride or die but i just thought i'd try something new it's the blade brow by makeup revolution kind of loving it kind of loving it but then i just finished up underneath my eyes as well a little bit of shadow and mascara but now we can move on to the rest of the face i'm gonna take my abh contour cat um and just to find those cheekbones a little bit god i really do just dip in and out of the accents i'm so sorry if you are one of the people that finds that really annoying because i can't stop and especially because i'm watching a lot of australian tv um i'm sure you guys know i've mentioned it before but if you didn't i did used to actually live in australia um so whenever i'm around or i'm listening to australian people talk my like i naturally just want to slip into an australian accent as well so that's like not actually me trying to be like funny or anything that is probably generally me like just falling into that accent because i did used to have a very strong australian accent i'm um, just taking a bit of shimmery bronzer <laughs> honestly if you still haven't incorporated a shimmery bronzer into your makeup routine what are you doing because it just gives such a gorgeous glow from within especially if you're going somewhere where you're going to be taking a lot of pictures it just adds that base glow to your skin and you know i do recommend that you get a shimmery bronzer but maybe hold tight a little bit because 
yeah. Anyway, moving on for blush. I'm gonna mix it up. Normally I use my NARS one or Dior, but I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kit and take this shade. This is the Radiant blush kit, and this color in particular is called Coastline. Because I'm wearing brown, I kind of want to go with more of a peachy blush instead of pink. Although that looks pretty pink to me. <laughs> but it's a nice one. This one's like quite matte. I think I went a little bit too much on this one. Let me just get my sponge. Gorgeous. And I think I'm going to go with a cream. This is, it looks like a cream blush, but it really does just come out as a highlighter. This is the NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. Um, I just really want like, because I've got quite like a snatched hair and like makeup. I, I still want my skin to be like, really fresh and dewy still. I don't want it to be or look too heavy. So I do love to still use, like see, like cream products. Also, if I say like one more time, I'm gonna get stressed. Uh, this brush is the Revolution Roxy brush. I love this for applying cream products, especially when I've already set my face. Like it just kind of like buffs it into the skin really easily. I love it. Gorgeous, now do I want a little bit of highlighter? Maybe, I obviously like have put some down my nose. I might just give like a wee, wee little dust. Nothing too, too crazy. I feel like I'm going like kind of holiday vibes with this makeup. Love, right, now I can spray, set it all in place. And I'm gonna use all products that you, well, I think you can get. Um, Cause I know in my last Get Ready With Me, there are a few little <laughs> Jesus here and there. Um, so glad you guys are excited about what may be coming. Um, but for my lip, again, I'm gonna use the Morphe Bite Me Lip Pencil. Um, I'm gonna go in with two MAC lipsticks. This is stripped, I'm gonna put that all over and then a little bit of Bare Bling in the middle and then this Artist Couture lip gloss in the shade Climax. And I will be back to show you the finished makeup look. Oh my God. I feel like this is like way more glam than usual. I also just put like a bit of concealer here and I'm scared that's done like too much, but let me just blend this all in i actually did i did actually switch up some of the products i put the stripped lipstick on from mac and it was actually way lighter than i thought so i didn't need the other lipstick and then i put on a slightly darker gloss and um, because i know that artist couture one is really like um so i used the new maybelline lifter gloss in topaz which it's either this one or one of the other ones that I feel like I've seen on TikTok as a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Balms. But this is the finished makeup look. We did say to each other, we're going like all out tonight. So, oh my God, I feel like the next thing to do is show you the outfit, which I'm so excited to wear. It is gorgeous. And I want your thoughts on it, girls. Um, so let me go get changed. All right. So this, oh my God, you can't really see. Hang on, let me like move. Can you see better when it's like this? This is what we've gone for. It's a play suit from Meshki. It is backless. Um, I'm not wearing a bra. The girls are just kind of sitting low, but the way that the strip, the, the straps are kind of like make it work. I feel like I need like a white background so you can really see. I know I look like really dressy um, and it is only a Wednesday, but what if, my future husband is at the Ivy on a Wednesday. And I would hope that he would be. Yeah, so let me just shut the door so it echoes a little bit less. Play suit is meshy. I've got these little like brown court shoes and they've got like a square toe and they're from Pretty Little Thing. I've been really bad and I've not checked if anything is in stock, but I will do my best to link it if it is, but to link something similar. Got some rings on, they're all from icy season. And I know this looks really dressy, but I'm thinking I'm gonna casual it out a little bit with the jacket and the bag. Let me show you. So you can see I've just thrown like a denim jacket over the top because brown and blue 
really complement each other and I thought it would like bring out the blue in my eyes and I just got like this sheep's like sheepskin bag from Zara and it's got like gold gold detailing on it with the brown so it ties all together kind of sorry I'm really far away now kind of gives it you know cash vibes this is just yeah the vibes tonight I'm kind of loving it Right, so next thing to do is actually go to the motherfucking Ivy and have some cocktails and eat some food and see the girls. Hi. Yeah. All right. You all right? Look at everyone. I like a denim tree, but we're all to protect very, myself okay. in the U-bath, huh? We're all very different today. Oh, I forgot a jacket. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not wearing this one, so I'll be right, I'm ready to eat. Yeah. I'm very excited. We're getting all the starters. Obviously, you have to get the chocolate arancini, the salt crusted sourdough, and some olives. We're going to call that our starter. I'm not going to get the steak, and I'm going to get the lobster linguine instead. And I feel like that's going to be like a good shout. Say hi. Can you come for the dark lip? I oh, know. We're loving it. We're really not happy. We've got lychee martinis on the way too, so very excited. Cheers. Fucking like damn, damn. It's a bit like Sorry, the Anglo got hair. Let me see. Oh, they're fucking. Oh my god, <laughs> that looks like an ass. If you know about the bread, go on. Oh god. Oh. Hiya. You're right. No. What? Here we go. The bread. I wish you could eat this with me. I'm so out of focus, but I don't care. I'm in like a bread high. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Come on here. Thank you. Oh, Maddie's got like an actual like art <laughs> <Butter>. design. <laughs> Lobster linguine. Chicken salad. Oh my god, what did you get? The some salmon. Chili flakes, some chili oil, oh. Oh my eat. gosh. Linguine. Thank you. Truffle and parmesan chips. Oh, of course. The truffle chips. Enjoy food, lady. When I tell you that was the best food I've had in so long. I had lobster linguine. Amazing. I'm so full. I can't stop. The girls got chips. I must eat them. I must. I'm so full. I can't stop. Done. 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 Is pudding on the cards though. Wow, the bomb oh sound. This is the best part. Get your look at us all. I know. <laughs> Just three vloggers. Just capturing the moment. Ready for the shot? Of course. We are. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. There it is. <laughs> we spent too much time together. <laughs> cheers to the spoon. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Fill to the brim and amenity for bent. Back home and these need to come off my feet now. Oh my goodness. Number one. Wow. Number two. What is this? Number three. My hair. Holy fuck. To be fair, I did say to Jack when he put my clip like this in for me, I was like, I want it to hurt, like, I want to be snatched, but I am so ready for bed and just to sleep. And I'm so full. Honestly, that was probably one of the nicest IV experiences I've had in ages. I feel like there's always something at the Ivy and you because it's like such a popular place that you're like, oh, like it wasn't that great or there's just, there's just always something. And that was amazing. We enjoyed every, like we all loved what we ordered. Like I said, I got the lobster linguine. Didn't get the steak. I resisted. Look, oh, by the way, this is the plat piece. That's from Beauty Works. Like they give you a bit that like this bit, oh god, it's all a bit like tangled. Look, you've got your three plait bits, and then this like is the thing that wraps around your hair tie. 
like it's so good makes a braid so easy ow oh my god why is getting like yourself ready for bed when all you want to do is just sleep ow these hair ties and i've just realized my hairbrush isn't even in here great ah oh. look my hair looks like this This is, like, who the fuck wants to wake up next to this for their whole life? Right, let me get my hairbrush. Sorry, I took my hair out and I took off all my makeup. Because I'm fucking tired. All right, girls, I'm tired. I'm filled to the brim of pasta, bread, arancini, cocktails. I'm just full and I'm ready to sleep. And I couldn't be more excited. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Little mix of everything that I love. Makeup, outfits, the girls, food, getting tipsy. All in one video. So I hope you enjoyed it whenever that you are watching this. Um, I've either posted this on Thursday or Friday. I feel like Hannah is posting her video on... Th we'll see. I'm, I'm sorry if we all end up posting these at the same time. But I think it's fun you get to see like how each of us vlogged the night, but I'm so ready to just get into bed and sleep. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my God, I'm so fucking tired. And I will see you in the next video. I'm not sure what that's gonna be, but uh, make sure you're subscribed to find out. Bye guys.